Hi everyone and welcome to another video. Today I want to talk to you about these Hollyland Lark M1 wireless microphones and what they're good at and what they're not so good at and if they're any good for a Moto Vlogger overall. Um, they do things really really well and in this video we're going to look at just an overall what you get and how they work and what they're good at what they're not so good at. So let's carry on. It's really good for outdoor stuff like this, where you're out in the open air and you need to be able to walk around and show something off. You're not tethered to the camera, you're free, and basically it's a really nice size. You just stick it on your shirt or whatever, and away you go. The beauty of it is, is that I can wander around, I can turn my back on you, and I can walk, I can go over here, and you can still hear what I'm saying. There's about a 200 meter range, so it's more than enough. I've got the uh, dead cat thing on it that basically filters out a lot of the weather around you. You can also turn on the background noise filter, which is just the button on the lapel itself, and the light goes green. And that is a digital filter which will remove any background noise, which is what I'm doing now. I personally think it sounds a little bit robotic y, but if you're in a really noisy environment, it's probably a good thing to do. I'll turn it back on. So now I've turned it back off. It's much more natural with the background environment and you can still hear me perfectly well. So overall, really good outside as well. Or like this. Finished? It's excellent for making videos like this. It's really good for interviews. Who is your favorite YouTuber? Tom's TC. Unfortunately, as you can see in this next clip, it doesn't work very well in the helmet as a Moto v logging device. Everywhere else, I give it a massive thumbs up, but for this one, unfortunately, no. But yes, you know, it's, um, it's a middle of the road one, I guess. Quite so what do you get for your 150 quid? Well, you basically get a very nice carry case, and unfortunately, I've already got a mark on it, but I have been using it. And in the carry case, you get your charging pod. You get some fluffy wind deflectors or dead cats, whatever you want to call them. You get a 3.5 mil jack. You get this, which is a 3.5 mil TRS to TRSS patch cable, apparently. And what this does basically is for like, this is for your mobile phones, your iPhones, and some other devices, you need this because it's a slightly different connection. You actually get two dead cats and also a USB charging cable as well. You can also get the option to connect directly to an iPhone uh, as well, which basically gives you a cable like this with a 3.5 mil jack into the lightning uh, device. I bought this separately so I could connect it to an iPhone as and when I need to. This is your little charging pod and when you open it up it automatically starts to charge the devices or activates whatever you want to call it and you've got your one lapel, two lapels and your receiver as well. Now you'll notice that the lights are all flashing on it and when they're connected like so, you get the two lights illuminated on your receiver, your lights on your devices, your lapels, as you can see. Now, the two green lights are on at the moment. So basically what that means is that the devices are recording in mono, okay? So if we change the mode, once we press and hold it for a certain amount of time, I think it's about 10 seconds, it changes to blue. Now what this means is one of them becomes your right hand speak uh, channel and the other one becomes your left hand channel. Now, that's a bit annoying, but to be honest with you, when you're recording in mono, you won't really notice a difference unless you wanna have some sort of fly past or you know stereo sound. Most microphones record in mono anyway. So we'll turn that back into mono recording. Like so. So it's really as plug and play as it could possibly be with these devices. You literally take them out of the charging port, they're, they're 
they're ready to go. You've got a volume control on here, which is you'll need to do some playing with that. Uh, it's basically a very basic game. You have separate charging for each device. So you've got your USB-C here on the, on the lapels and also on the receiver. So you can also charge the charging port with USB-C here. Now, apparently you get about eight hours of talk time or, or recording time with these, which is more than enough, I believe. I'm not exactly sure what the entire talk time is, but you can obviously plug this into a battery pack as well and get extra, extra talk time as well. I think for £150, um, compared to the Rhodes, the Rhodes are obviously a much more advanced product, but these work really well um, for, you know, out and about, talking to the camera, things like that. And the fact that you get two is really useful if you're talking to somebody. So you can just give them a microphone, it's all ready to go, uh, and off you go. Now, obviously, one thing I didn't say was that the receiver has a three and a half mil jack at the bottom here. And basically what you do is you just plug that into your device and away you go. I tested it with uh, an iPhone. I've tested it with Android and I've tested it with my GoPro. I have mixed problems with my GoPro. Um, I think it's just the way that interfe it interfaces. And as you can see from my previous video showing you on the bike, it's not very good. I could probably muck about with that and get the gain right, but I can't get these to fit particularly well in the helmet. So Moto V logging, I think, is a no for this. But everything else, really good. The quality is good if you're not ragging it around on a motorbike. I'm going to stick with my normal Purple Panda 3.5mm wired microphone on when it's in the helmet. So overall, a really good little device. You've got your receiver and your two lapels. They even do a single one as well if you don't want to spend as much money and get the two. I think they're really good for vlogging overall. You can do interviews, you can go to events and you can hear yourself clearly, really plug and play, straightforward and simple. But they don't work on the bike in the helmet, unfortunately. Probably because of the overall noise, it's just too much for the digitization to actually process what's going on. So overall good value, not good for Moto vlogging. If this is your first time watching this channel, please give me a thumbs up, give me a subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.